Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tara Map and um, Lisa from Mindful Tara and quite a few other people um, inaugurated or started doing the series on 78 cards and she does a card a day and I thought it's a great idea so I thought I'm going to join in. It's a little bit what Kay Chris was doing with SPD surrounded by decks um, tag but this one the videos are quite short and you put one card, you pick one card to represent um, certain archetype or certain card in tarot and just speak shortly about this uh, card that you picked. Of course, you know me, I couldn't pick one card. <laughs> but I wanted to just um, start with the full and share with you a few images. Not many, just a few images and also um, maybe just share just my thoughts on this particular archetype and the full for me this one comes from the serpent fire tarot and i love this image because it's got this wild element in it and i was just listening to taco pass encounters um dreamwork with taco pass it's a facebook page i highly recommend it if you're interested in dreams plus she's just an amazing mystic and teacher um and she, if you subscribe to her newsletters, she sends now, like, it's she calls it encounters. And that's like interviews with um, amazing women. And in one of those first interviews, uh, I've heard something which um, kind of moved me. Because she said that there is this part in us which is wild and untamed. And whatever we do, however much we are conditioned and squashed or um, you know like limited in our lives there's always this part in us which is free or wants to be free and feels unlimited and feels like a uh, wild and untamed and I felt like this really reminds me of the fall how I see the fall um, in traditional tarot decks the fall is seen as um, you know, this kind of poor, <laughs> poor and happy, you know, off it goes and it, it heads um, forward to towards the future and um, it might pay attention to this little animal. Maybe it's its spirit guide. I love the light blue color here. It can be the instinct. Um, it can be maybe warning him or it can be going like, yeah, go, go, maybe pushing him forwards. Who knows? And so the fool is usually... Um, this when it comes up in cards in a reading it's um, encouragement to be a little bit like a fool but there is also a warning you know you can go and be innocent childlike open to adventure wanting to take the leap of faith and the risk or you can be ignorant and it's just stupid and foolish uh, so where is the healthy line between innocence and ignorance this comes from the tarot of transformation and the traditional image comes from tarot that was hand painted by joe from 282 tarot on instagram and she's currently working on her deck so it's called le marseille blue and i only have the major arcanas but joe is making the whole deck so this image from the serpent tire uh, serpent fire tarot um this wild untamed leap taking part of us it's beautiful and in the serpent fire booklet it's called the hero's leap so full it's us it's the hero it's the we are the heroes of our own journeys and um when the full comes up the zero the unlimited circular motion of possibilities that can happen to us just require from us this openness like oh openness and taking a leap of faith now so um the mantra that uh, the creator of the serpent fire gives in this little book it says i give myself to the great unknown and i love this one i also really love the Margaret Peterson full. So you've got all these elemental uh, powers going on. There's the clouds and the water, and there is sun shining behind the full. There's kind of like this solar and lunar um, feel to it, and there is this full 
heading off the cliff and the eagle trying to stop him or maybe lift him up and help him because sometimes with the fool you can get very lucky um, or if you're too foolish and too reckless you can just fall off the cliff so uh, with this Margaret Peterson tarot I love the little poem which I'm going to read to you you are young and far away from home, a glittering crack, heaven, sun and clouds and foaming waters, the elements at play, blue breath, risk finding the way to yourself, engage yourself where chaos begins, where you stand alone and without help facing life. That's beautiful. Another amazing image that I wanted to share with you and the last one. I hope Anya from Tarot by Anya is watching. <laughs> it's Sheila Nagig and um, from the little booklet of Dark Goddess Tarot because that's where the card comes from. It says that she, Sheila Nagig is the British spirit of warning and initiation. So full often is seen as initiation, as beginning, as new beginning, as new birth. It comes from the world and starts a new cycle. And so um, the little saying from the book says, dare to come back to where you began. Dare. So there is this action of daring, of taking this risk, of taking that leap of faith and of awakening to this childlike spirit in us. From the big book um, that I um, printed out of the PDF, um, when Sheila Nagig appears, so when the fool appears, enter into a new opportunity with trust, but not blindness. Open everything, including your eyes. Don't see only what you already know. So it's this kind of Uranian quality of be open to, be open, like literally open to new possibilities, to new movements, to new ideas, to Eurekas, to something exciting that can come your way. Allow knowledge to arise in unexpected ways, like an underground stream welling up from forgotten places, like flowers that burst with the sudden scent of memory, like remnants of clothing from who you were before you crossed the threshold here. Do not analyze these offerings, taste them. Fool doesn't have too much to do with intellectual mind. It's more this impulse. It's more the, you know, like the childlike kind of, I want the curiosity, this um, zest for life, you know. Release expectation and judgment of others. For this world owes you nothing but the everything it has already given. Return to innocence to get on with life as it is. Strike a foolish pose and smile at yourself. Rub yourself for luck. Live fresh in this moment, whether you must cry or laugh or fart. <laughs> Release shame. Release the judgments from others you have turned and heaped upon yourself. Let go of the labels. Everyone is flawed and strange. And so what? Be unique. Be yourself. Be new now. So that's the full um, archetype for you. And the next few days I will do the rest of the cards. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks, Lisa, for the inspiration. And I'll speak to you soon. I'll link Lisa's video in the description box. Bye, fools.